what is up man 25 gamers welcome to today's video today's video we're going to be talking about uh, how to beat zone coverage from the Arizona Cardinals playbook and uh, a play we really like to use for beating zone coverage um, depending on what we see with the defense of course but uh, if we're talking just strictly zone coverage the play we really like to beat zone coverage uh, from this play is the shotgun uh, trips halfback week because that's going to be that four wide receiver personnel and uh, the play we like to use to beat the zone uh, primarily is the smash play. Okay, this is a play we like to use uh, to beat any zone coverage in the game. What we like to do with this is we like to do what we talked about yesterday. We like to package uh, concepts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look here at first at a cover two sink. And we really like to motion Murray over to the right side and put him on a streak. Uh, the reason we like to do that is because... Uh, we're going to create a couple of different things when we do this. Um, so then what we want to do is we want to take Des Bryant. We want to put him on a deep in route. And then we want to take uh, Te uh, Terrence Williams here. And we want to put him on a little in a little baby in route, five yards. So no smart route needed. And so the first read on this play, first of all, you're going to try to tell if it's manners. If you're going to try to be telling if it's a manner zone, um, you're also going to be trying to tell if the safety is what, what kind of zone it is. But the first progression on this play is the route, the little smash route to, the little smash route to uh, Miles Austin. But unfortunately, when they're playing a cover two, um, that's not exactly where we want to go. And so we want to take a look here at this streak to Murray against cover two. I really like that streak against any zone, really. Uh, just the way that it, it gets open for whatever reason. Um, another thing you could consider doing with Miles Austin is instead of putting him on that smash route, you could put him on that smoke screen, and it provides just a little bit more separation. It keeps the same concept uh, of smash, but it provides a little bit more separation against zone. However, it's going to give you no read to Miles Austin against man. That route will never be man to man. Uh, so that's just a little quick, uh, a little quick concept. You see how how much more we have an opportunity, and you know, as I get intercepted, to fit that in a little bit against zone, but. The main thing that I want to show is that against um, against a cover two, uh, we're going to have Terrence Williams wide open over the middle. You see that little void he's going to sit in um, because in the cover two, they're going to be dropping back deeper. Um, now, what if, for example, they come up and use her? What if they say they come up and use her Terrence Williams? So I'm going to mimic this by just manning him up um, with beats and so say they say they start to drop back but then they realize oh you're gonna run that route over and over again well then they're gonna go user him now you see that big void in the back side of the defense with Murray and another void that I want to show here is this route to this route to Des uh, excuse me to Des Bryant and so we're gonna use the same idea it's gonna require a little bit more time in the pocket and of course the Giants pass rush isn't gonna provide that time that's another thing. Um, when you're running your your zones, uh, beaters, a lot of it is timing. You know, a lot of routes will get open in zone, but it's where they get open is important. And so here you'll see, oh my gosh. I don't know why no one's using the Giants this year because this pass rush is just killing me. But uh, anyway, let's try to show you this. Let's just see if we can get it to work but that deep in route to Bryant's what I want to show uh, when they jump up on that route if you can't get it into Murray uh, you can typically get it into Des Bryant on that deep in route another thing you might potentially do is put Williams on a deep in route and Des Bryant on the mini in route uh, just a couple of different things I mean as we see here with that deep in route to Williams it's a little bit quicker separate it's a little bit quicker in terms of route development um, so you could you could try all that out. I mean, it's all again, it's all basic routes, but we're just using different positions to beat zone. Um, so you see here, you see how he's gonna pull them deep with him, um, and then he's gonna cut underneath. So like for example, if it's a cover three, this is actually pretty valuable because what's gonna happen in a cover three is the corner route uh, won't be open at all. So you see here, cover three corner route's not gonna get open. We see that little baby in route's gonna get wide open, uh, and even even if you wanted to, um, you can hit you can hit DeMarco Murray coming in behind. So just a lot of things here. Uh, I just want to talk about a lot. But uh, now I want to go to a cover four. So in a cover four, 
um, you should be able to beat it pretty easily with that Miles Austin route. And um, that goes back to reading the safeties. And if the safeties are, both safeties are dropping back deep, then we want to try to work that smash. And you see against the smash where you can hit that route to Miles Austin. Now what your opponent will start doing is they'll stop dropping, they'll start dropping, uh, for example, out of the cover two sink, because that's probably the one they're going to have the most success with. So the, they'll play cover to sink, and they're maybe going to drop this um, this guy, Pierre Paul, in a man assignment against Des Bryant, and they're going to man up Tuck on Williams, and then they're going to man up Joseph on Murray to kind of stay with them throughout the zone. Well, if they do that, that's going to give us a lot more time in the pocket, and we can pass lead this corner. Tony Romo sucks. We can pass lead this corner route up, and... Um, Literally, I might as well just run another play because the corner route has not been effective at all today for whatever reason. Um, but it normally is pretty effective. And let's try to do that again. Let's try. To, I'm just trying to show you something they may do. And and what's going to happen now is we can pass that corner route up, and you see now we have that separation. So that's kind of the 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 the, the best case scenario with that corner route. Um, one thing you may consider doing is smart routing it so that it goes a little bit deeper into the into the field. And against cover four, you can actually, I think you can click on user catch maybe. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to kind of get you guys uh, thinking about some trips formations. And uh, there's a lot of other things you can do from this playbook to beat zone. These are just some, some basic principles um, that I like to use. I really like the corner route, although I had some trouble with it earlier. Uh, but anyways, guys, you want to work that smash side against cover two, and you want to work that streak in route combination against cover three. So thanks for your time today. Hope the video was beneficial. If it was, leave a like rating, and if it wasn't, let me know what I can do to improve them. Thanks a lot, guys.